Well, warmed up a bit today, and if you like the heat, you're really going to like the rest of the week, Craig. <laughs> yeah, I was just thinking, all right, let's get to Friday, and then Saturday will be good. <laughs> if you don't like the heat, Sunday is your day. <laughs> Craig and Jessica, we've got quite a bit to talk about. I've got some heat. Uh, we've got excessive heat warnings and also some showers in the seven day forecast, which would be kind of nice as well. Uh, good evening to all of you. Let's get started. You talked about it being warmer today. Certainly clear. We've got lots of sunshine for you through the day tomorrow. Early patchy clouds along the coast burning off quickly. Salties on Alki. That's the view we're looking at uh, out toward uh, Seattle. Beautiful. You can see Queen Anne on the left side of your screen with the towers. Highs today got up to 80 Friday Harbor. Same for Bellingham. Blaine, good evening. You're pretty close to 80 degrees today. Arlington 82. Chehalis 86 and 77 and Forks. So with the 85 per SeaTac, that puts us well above average, which for this time of year is 78. Just last week, average high was 79. Now we're taking that little turn and going back down. So 78 is the average high for now. Current temperatures were we're sitting close to that 77 in Seattle, Arlington 62, Renton 74, Port Angeles 61 and Hoke Williams 64 degrees. Most spots again a little bit warmer than this time yesterday. The pink that you see is the excessive heat warning begins tomorrow, goes through Saturday evening at 7 p.m. Quite a stretch. Thankfully, no all time record breaking heat, but nonetheless still hot. The orange is a heat advisory for low 90s right through Friday evening. It's all expanding around this area of high pressure, and what's key here is the flow, right? That's one of the key ingredients. Uh, it pushes the air down. We've got a clockwise rotation around that, and as we look at the wind future cast here, we're not looking for rain, obviously, but we're looking for the direction of the wind. This is tomorrow coming in mainly out of the north and along the coast northwest. Fast forward to Thursday, mostly north and even northeast winds around the south sound on Thursday, and that's going to be one of the warmer days, and we'll heat up a little bit more on Friday. What about the smoke? Well, it does get pushed down to the south because of that flow around that high pressure, and then Thursday you may see uh, some smoke coming in from the north a little bit as well on Thursday. As we pause a moment with Craig, oh, look how happy this puppy dog is. Had a great time last week. This, by the way, is Harley, and this was playing after, after he was playing fetch at Pine Lake. Molly, thanks for sending that in from Sammamish. You can send your pet photos in. Use the hashtag K5Pets or email them to me. Again, your overnight lows in the upper 50s and lower 60s, but come Thursday morning, Friday morning, those overnight lows are going to be mostly in the low to mid 60s and will warm up about 3 to 5 degrees each day going through Saturday. By the time we get into Sunday, things change dramatically. Your new system dives in from the Gulf of Alaska and gives us some showers by late Sunday. Meantime, Puyallup 93 tomorrow, Olympia, Shelton both in the lower 90s, about 91 or so. Forks at 86, Chehalis 94. Long Beach 71 for you and boy, the haze just, just continues to be the story for Eastern Washington with triple digits in the forecast. We gradually warm up Friday being the hottest day. Rain shower Sunday night into Monday morning.